large truck pulled into Philadelphia City Hall tonight hauling in the Visit Philadelphia Holiday Tree. We are so excited. It's like a sense of normalcy. The 55-foot fir will be decorated next week, though there won't be a big in-person lighting celebration. But this whole area is still a good spot for masked families to come spread out and enjoy over the next month and a half. Take some pictures and have some fun just to see the lights. It really brings that winter magic wonderland that we all are, are thirsting for, and we need to fulfill the joy in our lives right now. And this is the start. Across the street, the German-inspired Christmas Village is returning. The big part's actually done. It's more decoration now, lights, garlands, to make it festive. There will be far fewer vendors this year, and the tents are spaced apart, but both the Made in Philadelphia market here in Dilworth Park and the more international offerings over in Love Park will both return this year. We're really excited. We worked super hard over the summer. We changed the layout a couple of times. Gates are already in place to keep overflow crowds waiting in a distanced line in case the Christmas Village reaches capacity. Over at the Fashion District Philadelphia, a holiday light show can be seen at the top of every hour. People told us they're happy to have something to do while COVID restrictions are tightening up. Just looking for the joy, and that can bring some joy. So anything to brighten up this year, for sure. It doesn't matter what COVID's doing. We can rest in our hearts and souls and be joyful. Baltimore usually features a similar Christmas market but chose to cancel it this year. Philadelphia's will be opening on schedule for a preview next weekend and regular hours starting on Thanksgiving. In Center City, Drew Smith, NBC 10 News.